Next up, we got Phobos returning to the stream to fight for A's. Zelda will come out to fight the Pokemon trainer and win us quarterfinals. Let's see how this shakes out. with the neutral air. Not allowing Phobos to get the early hits as he did in the last set he was in. He's dancing back and playing a lot more defensively now. Zelda's a character that can afford to do that, especially against Pokemon Trainer. Oh, but if she needs to get in your face, there we go, 45% is enough to prove it. completely in his element. Zero to death in the first 40 seconds. A switch from Charizard, good choice, but Squirtle's eating 40. Not the position you want to be in. Phobos finding himself on the back foot. Foray's completely taking advantage of the situation. the forward smash again. He's been making great use of it. Oh, but the up smash does not connect. Squirtle's a little too small for that. And Phobos is now answering back with a combo. Let's see if he can extend it. Out comes the Ivysaur. Oh, and now he is answering back with these hits. All of a sudden, Ferez is at 83 and is no longer looking one-sided. Charizard comes out. Gotta be careful of the Phantom on the ledge, but... Oh, that RP is going to take it. Ferez up two stocks now. Bubbles is gonna need to make something happen quickly. on the ledge for now, but Charizard keeping Zelda off stage, fire breath is enough to disrupt her, and the up smash will take it. And the Squirtle has already eaten 49, he's going to need to make something happen. Ooh. Things are not looking good for Phobos right now. Down angle, up B from the Zelda. Ooh, does not get him with the down air. Ferez is able to catch him on that ledge. 88%. The situation isn't impossible, but it is dire. Fantastic awareness there. I don't know whether or not it was intentional to bait him with the razor leaf, but using that into Vine Whip will take the stock. And all of a sudden, Phobos is making this look doable. What was once a two stock lead, now set apart by 80%. We all know that Phobos can make these comeback situations. We've seen it earlier today. Oh, but the up throw is going to take it. That is 1-0 for Ferez. In a game that looked increasingly closer by the second. Good job to him for keeping his cool. And we 
we're seeing a switch to Steve. Interestingly enough. Let's see if this can make anything happen. Doing the classic mine. The even more classic craft. <laughs> Just steep things. Up comes the wall. It's gonna be great at keeping the Zelda out, but what about when he needs to get in? Relatively even in percentage right now. Oh, but Ferrez, right as I say that, finding a way to prove me wrong. Out goes the crafting table. And Phantom taking care of all those blocks. Very useful in situations like that, but... Of course, Phobos still has a way to keep on his own side of the stage. Ooh, destroying his own blocks into getting hit by the lightning kick. I wonder if that was the correct life run. Oh, he was trying to build a wall to keep the Zelda out. Did not succeed. Ferez is able to recover pretty high with that Zelda. He's getting rather low on resources. Ooh, but he's able to save himself with the block. Not sure if that would have killed, but just in case. <laughs> Ferez stopping in the middle of the stage, wondering what Phobos is going to do with that Steve. Phantom on the ledge. Will not take care of anything, but does seem to have Phobos on the back foot. Oh, and Ferez, let's go! Good mash from Phobos. The up throw will not take it. Oh, the footstool. Highly unintentional, or else he'd be eating an anvil to the face. Too much percent to have the up B in. Oh! He was ready for it. Spamming that neutral B so that the anvil could be reflected right back in Phobos' face. And all of a sudden, things are not looking good for him. Ferez is at 158%. Sooner or later, he has to go right back to zero. I mean, Phobos is getting as much mining as humanly possible. Oh! Extending the hitbox with the back air and Phantom. Oh! Phantom slicing through those blocks. Oh! Block almost killing Phobos there. Almost spelling out the end. Here comes a combo. No block extension. Foray is going high to avoid it. Oh, and managing to avoid the ups. Oh, but he down airs the reflector once again. Foray's takes this 2 0. It makes me wonder, based on how both the games went, if Steve was the right player. But it's too late to say now. Foray's will be moving on to winner's semis, where he will fight against China Space Cadet.